Drowning in debt, a familiar story. Man, I've been there. Buried under a mountain of debt. Credit cards maxed out, car payments sucking the life out of me. That feeling of dread every time the phone rang, knowing it was another bill collector. It's a heavy load, that debt. It weighs you down, steals your peace, and keeps you stuck. I remember one particularly low point. It was a Wednesday, pouring rain, and my paycheck was already spent before I even got it. I was trying to juggle bills, deciding which ones to pay and which ones to put off. The stress was unbearable. I felt like I was drowning, and there was no one to throw me a lifeline. Have you ever felt that way? Like you're stuck in a financial hole with no way out? It's a desperate place to be, but let me tell you something. There is hope. You see, I learned the hard way that financial freedom isn't just about dollars and cents. It's about so much more than that. It's about peace of mind. It's about taking control of your life. It's about honoring God with your finances. And most importantly, it's about discovering that true wealth is not measured by what you own, but by who you are in Christ. In the midst of my financial struggles, I turned to my faith. Now, I'm not talking about some magic formula or get-rich-quick scheme. I'm talking about the power of prayer, the wisdom of Scripture, and the support of my church community. They became my lifeline, the Bible says in Proverbs 22, 7. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. That verse hit me hard. I was a slave to my debt, and I needed to break free. So I started praying for guidance. I asked God to show me a way out of the mess I'd created, and you know what? He answered, it wasn't always easy. It took time, discipline, and a whole lot of faith. But step by step, I started to climb out of that hole. I started making changes, small at first, but they made a difference. Budgeting with purpose, a spiritual perspective. One of the biggest lessons I learned was the importance of budgeting. Now, I know what you're thinking. Budgeting, that sounds about as fun as a root canal, but trust me on this one, a budget is not about deprivation, it's about freedom, it's about taking control of your money instead of letting it control you. But here's the spiritual twist. When you budget, you're aligning your spending with your values. You're asking yourself, what's truly important to me? Is it buying the latest gadgets or is it providing for your family? Is it accumulating more stuff or is it using your resources to make a difference in the world? Remember, money is a tool. It can be used for good or for evil. It all depends on your heart. What are your thoughts on budgeting? Share your experiences or questions in the comments below. Now, let's talk about investing. A lot of folks get intimidated by investing. They think it's some big, complicated mystery that only Wall Street hotshots can understand. But it doesn't have to be that way. Investing is simply about putting your money to work for you so that it can grow over time. It's about planting seeds for the future. And just like a farmer trusts in the natural laws of growth, we can trust in God's provision. Now, I'm not saying you should throw all caution to the wind and invest in every get-rich-quick scheme that comes along. You still need to do your research, seek wise counsel and make informed decisions, but ultimately it comes down to faith. Faith in God's plan for your life and faith in your ability to make sound financial choices. Planning for the future might seem like an odd concept when you're struggling to make ends meet, but here's the thing. Planning isn't just about saving for retirement or buying a house, it's about living with intentionality. What are your dreams? What are your goals? What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? These are big questions, but they're worth asking. When you plan for the future, you're acknowledging that God has a purpose for your life. You're saying, God, I trust you with my future. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know you hold my hand. Look, I'm not going to lie. Achieving financial freedom takes work. It takes discipline. It takes sacrifice. But I can tell you from experience, it's worth it. True financial freedom isn't about having a fat bank account. It's about living a life of abundance. It's about having the resources to pursue your passions, bless others, and make a difference in the world. When you align your finances with your faith, you unlock a level of freedom and fulfillment that money alone could never buy. It's a journey, my friend, but it's a journey worth taking. So take that first step today. God is with you every step of the way. If you found this journey inspiring, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's spread the message of financial freedom through faith.